Hi everyone, my name is Shub and welcome to Little Wisdom, where we look into science and spirituality to strengthen our wisdom and self-awareness. Today's episode is when life plans don't work and how to take a step back to realize it may have worked after all, albeit differently. All right, so let's jump right in. Many years ago, I was sitting at my desk at work and gazing out the window. Shu, are you all right? A colleague of mine had just come up the stairs and she said that I'd been sitting there and staring outside for five whole minutes. I laughed and I told her, yeah, you know, I'm just thinking about stuff. The truth is, I was thinking about nothing in particular but everything in general. And that general largely included where I was headed in life. (laughs) Aha, that feeling. I think you know what I'm talking about. You've probably experienced this at some point in your life, maybe more than once, depending on how old you are. Like almost everyone, I had made a plan about how my life would be. A plan about what job to get, what age to get married, have kids, how much to earn. You you get what I mean. I'm sure you've uh, made those plans too. And it had finally sunk into me that a lot of what I had planned was not going to happen. Not because I didn't try, but because life had happened instead. Like a lot of people, I was upset that things didn't go the way I had wanted them to. I was supposed to be climbing the corporate ladder, strutting around in really cool formal attire like this show on TV. I should have been engaged or married and basically completing the plan to be somebody. And I wasn't doing any of those. Some time back, I suddenly remembered that upsetting stare out of the window, look into the distance moment. And I laughed, but not in a maniacal way, because that would be a little stressful. But uh, the laughter was basically because it seemed silly to me now how much time and stress I had spent over a lost plan. Anyway, I looked back and realized that not having the plan work has still worked in my favor. And maybe it has for you too. Why? Because even though it was a different path, only now can I see the growth from that sitting looking out of the window moment to this sitting and recording episode moment. If you take a moment right now and you think about yourself, I don't know, let's say five years ago, ten years ago, But a point in your life when you had made a plan, maybe when you graduated or left high school and you were going to do something with your life. I don't know how much of that has happened for you, but even if it has not, I'm sure you can see that most of it, or some of it at least, has brought you benefits that you would not have otherwise anticipated. For example, maybe you've met people you never thought you would or experienced moments you never thought you would ever have an opportunity to do. Or maybe even try to hand at things that you would have never dreamed of maybe five to ten years ago. Long story short, in my case, something similar has happened and it has also led me to learn two essential life lessons. Now, this isn't something that you may not have heard of or that's not something that we all haven't grown up with. But there is a fine line in knowing something and in realizing it. And that was the case for me with these two lessons. Lesson number one. We are way too harsh on ourselves. We show compassion to others, but when we so-called fail, we berate ourselves. It's not uncommon to find someone blaming themselves over forgetting something, not speaking up, or even for a failed relationship, maybe a failed marriage. We are great at giving advice to others to encourage them and to be kind to yourself. But when it comes to us, no, no, it will not do. I'm sure this isn't new information to you. You know it. You've been hard on yourself. But why is self-compassion so tough? While there are a lot of reasons, but if I was to summarize it for you, in psychology they believe that allowing yourself to be self-compassionate can open floodgates to times you may have felt deprived of that compassion. Memories or wounds may resurface that have not yet healed And so keeping it covered is a lot easier. So if your plan to be somebody isn't working, 
It's easier to be upset or to be tough on yourself. Easier, not easy, yeah? Because being kind to yourself would mean having to let it go. And when you've been holding on to so much for so long, letting it all go can mean not knowing who you are without it. But remember, letting go of pain also creates an empty space. And while that empty space may feel uncomfortable for a while, it's there for you to fill up with the things that uplift you instead. Starting with slowly and gently being kind to yourself. I want to share a quote here by Christopher K. Germer. He is a clinical psychologist who has um, explored self-compassion and showing kindness to oneself. And he says, A moment of self-compassion can change your entire day. A string of such moments can change the course of your life. So the next time you're tempted to blame yourself or to beat yourself up over something, take a step back, hit a pause, breathe in, and allow yourself some kindness by letting it go. It's not going to be easy, but practice makes perfect. Lesson number two. We are always bigger than a plan. My life, and yours too, is bigger than any plan that you have ever made. If your plan doesn't work, you still will. The human spirit has countless capabilities and tremendous strength, a lot more than we think. A great example of the strength of the human spirit is a name that you likely may not recognize but wait till you hear what he did. Dashrath Manji had a mountain standing in his way. And after trying to go around it, he decided to go through it. A laborer in Bihar, which is a place in India, he lost his wife after they were unable to reach the nearest hospital in time. A mountain had stood in the way, and the only path was to go 70 kilometers around it. In what can only be described... As a stubborn conviction, Dashrat Manji single-handedly carved a road through the 300-foot mountain. It took him 22 years, and he used only hand tools. He was called crazy, people thought he lost it, but his inner strength persisted and he found a way, literally. Today, the distance from the village to the hospital is one kilometer. So if we think about it, something so powerful cannot be stopped when a plan doesn't work. Our inbuilt survival instinct will subconsciously find another way to achieve what it wants. Trust yourself more than your plans. You made the plans, my friend. The plans did not make you. Eckhart Tolle is an amazing writer on spirituality and the consciousness. And in his book, A New Earth, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose, he says, Life will give you whatever experience is the most helpful for the evolution of your consciousness. What does he mean by that? It means you may not be where you thought you wanted to be. It may not be a straight road. It may be up and down, curved sideways, around in circles. Maybe it'll bring you back to square one and then you have to start again. And then it'll take you upside down. (laughs) Basically, it's not what you planned. But just because it's not what you planned doesn't mean it's not good for you. There is a reason you're having these experiences. There's always a reason behind everything. And it only makes sense backwards. When you look back on it, that is when it makes sense. So don't lose heart. Don't lose hope. It may not be what you have planned, but you'll get right where you need to for the sake of your growth. And when you get there and look back, you will know it was worth it. And it was there for a reason. And it was better than any plan that you may have ever made. So, the next time your life plan doesn't go the way it's supposed to, remember your self-compassion, be kind to yourself, take a step back, and remember the strength of the mountain man. Life didn't happen the way you wanted it to, but as long as you have life, you can make it happening. (laughs) So I knew that sentence when I wrote it down, it didn't come out really as as I planned it to. But it's okay, I'm going to be kind to myself, since that's what I'm preaching here. And I hope this was useful. I'd love to hear about times when your plans have not worked, big or small, and how that has still worked out for you. Do share, and I'll see you next time 
a little wisdom. Thank you so very much for listening. I really appreciate it. Please stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and stay wise.